Okay, this is the fabric that I'm going to use today. Now, all you need is about maybe a half a yard of fabric. I have two yards. I always buy at least two yards of fabric. You just never know. And this is my template here. And I just use um, poster board from the Dollar Tree. So you're going to need to cut three pieces. The first piece is the actual bow tie. And this is 10 inches long by five inches wide. So 10 by five. The second piece you're gonna need is the actual strap, the bow tie strap. And this is 22 inches long by two and a half inches wide. 22 long by two inches wide. And the third piece you're gonna need is the little tab. And this is three inches long by two inches wide, three by two. Last thing you're gonna need are your bow tie hardware. And I got this pack from Amazon. Now I'll leave, leave a link to this below. And I also got this fabric from Amazon, so I'll leave a link to that as well. So all you will need are three pieces, the hook, uh, the little piece that actually catches the hook, and then the adjustable piece. Those three pieces. Okay, let's get started. So we have our three pieces. We have our strap. We have the actual bow tie piece. And we have the tab. Now this fabric is a little lightweight, a little flimsy. It's like a lightweight flannel. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna interface each piece to give it some stability.
I'm making sure I have the right side of the fabric. So both, okay, this is the right side. So I wanna fuse this to the wrong side of the fabric. Make sure I'm feeling the bumpy part. So this is the bow tie piece and I didn't do a very good job of aligning my pattern to the lines of the fabric. This is kind of cut off centered. So I'm going to recut this piece. So I'm aligning my pattern. Let me move you over. I'm aligning my pattern, the top edge to this blue line here. Okay, all three pieces have been stabilized with the interfacing. So now let's get to the fun part. So let's start with the strap. So what we're gonna do is fold it in half and press. open it up and we're going to use that press line right there as our guide so we're going to fold one edge to that center and press now bring the other side in so that it meets in the middle and press. Now, we're gonna fold it one last time. Ooh, it's hot. So that the edges meet. Ooh, it's hot.
So now we have one long strip. So now I'm gonna take this to the sewing machine and sew along this edge. Stitch the ends flat. So once I'm done a finish once I'm done assembling the bow tie, I'm gonna use this fray check on the ends so that you see how it's fraying. I'm gonna put this on there so it stops the fraying. But for now I'm just gonna trim it. So now I have my three pieces to the bow tie. So the first one, I'm gonna take this adjustable piece and I'm gonna slide it one end and then come back and feed it through the top. And I'm going to stitch it down, maybe. Let's see, maybe an inch. So I fed it through, so it looks like this. So now I'm going to turn it. And there's about an inch of overlap there. And I'm just going to stitch down right there to secure it. Now on the opposite end, I'm going to attach the hook. This is the hook piece. So with the hook facing down, you make sure this is flat. So on the opposite end, I have the overlap piece facing up. So keeping it flat, I'm going to attach the hook but the hook is gonna be facing down. So when you turn it up, the hook is facing up. I'm gonna feed the same end with the hook to the opposite end and feed it through the top. Okay, since I interfaced the fabric, it's thick now and there's hardly any room to slide that fabric in. But let's see. Oh. 
So next time, maybe I won't interface all the way to the edge of the fabric, just so it's not so thick. So it's very hard to feed it. Hmm. Hold on, let me think of a method to feed this through. Okay, so I recut the strap. There's no interfacing in there. So now I'm gonna stitch it down. So I'm going to go to the iron and iron it flat once more. Now I'm going to stitch or close the edges. up where we left off so we got our three pieces we're going to take the adjustable piece and insert it on one end so you feed it through one side pull it through and then feed it through the other side so that it looks like this I'm going to fold that lap, that overlap piece right there, and that's about an inch overlap, and I'm going to stitch it down. Now it's nice and secure. So now with the stitches facing up, we're gonna to slide to the other end. We're gonna take the hook. And with the hook facing down, this way, we're gonna feed it through the opposite end. We're going to take this in and feed it through the top portion of this adjustable piece. Now we're going to feed it through the other side. Perfect. So now we're going to take the latch, the piece that the hook attaches to, and feed it through it. Then we're going to flip that over so that the hook is sticking up the hook attachment is sticking up and we're going to stitch this part down
Okay, so the strap is done. So it looks a little small because I haven't adjusted it yet, but the strap part is done. So now let's work on the bow and the tab. Okay, so I realized that I wasn't recording. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start again. So this is the bow tie piece, the 10 by five. So what I did was I folded it so that both edges met in the center. And then I folded it the opposite way so those ends met in the center. At this point, you can either machine, machine stitch this right across or hand tack it down. And because I interfaced it and it's now a little thick, I don't want to add any extra bulk by, mach by machine stitching it. So I'm just gonna hand tack it down. And this will not be seen, so it really doesn't matter if you hand tack it or machine stitch it. So I'm gonna press once again. So let me prepare my thread because now we're gonna fold the bow tie and tack it in place. <clears throat> so fold the bow tie in half lengthwise Fold one edge back, fold the other edge back. And then we're gonna tack down the center. So now we're going to work on the tab, the piece that goes around there, which is this. So with the three inch side lengthwise, we're going to fold in half, but it's going to overlap just the tab on one side. See, it didn't meet in the middle, it overlapped. Oh, it's hot. Okay, now we're gonna fold one edge over maybe just a quarter of an inch and press down. prepare my thread here. It's 
So we're gonna take this folded edge and sew to the back, the back of the bow. So this is the front of the bow, this is the back. So that's the front of the bow, and that's the back. And I just tacked it down right there. So now, okay, so we have our strap. Place it so that the adjustable ring is facing up. Take your bow, Open it up so the tab is, is flat and slide the tab underneath. And place the bow maybe between the halfway mark of this adjustable ring and the end. So take the tab, flip the bow over, then bring the tab over. You wanna wrap the bow and you wanna wrap the strap. So now we're looking at the back of the strap and the back of the bow. We're gonna turn the edge of that tab over so that the edges aren't exposed. So that it looks like that. And we're gonna tack it down. So now, like I said, I'm gonna treat this edge with the fray check. So I'm gonna cut all of these straggly threads here. Just put a few drops right along the edge. and that will dry clear, so we don't have to worry about the fabric unraveling. This edge, we don't have to worry about. Well, actually we do. So let me treat this edge as well. Allow that to dry before wearing, ladies and gents. There is your bow. Before I forget, let me actually show you how to adjust it. So, just pull one end up at a time and then pull it from the opposite end. that gap so now we've made it smaller 
to fit perhaps a little boy or a little girl. Now to make it adult size, you will go the opposite way. Pull it up from one side and then pull it back from the other side. go. Thanks for watching. Please like and share my videos and I hope to see you on my next one.